anytime from anywhere on the field. These two teams can find the end zone. The Scarlet Knights and the Mountaineers have weapons at every skill position. Don't look away, don't blink, or you might miss an offensive explosion. You know the names by now. Slayton, White, Rice. Today, you'll see what makes these some of the most dangerous players in the world of college football. It's not who'll score today, it's how and from where. Get ready for what should be an offensive explosion. It's West Virginia and Rutgers coming up next. It will be a sold-out Rutgers Stadium, a late-arriving crowd due to the rain. ESPN's College Football and ABC presented by Best Buy. It's the Scarlet Knights on their home turf against the number seven team in the country, the Mountaineers of West Virginia. As you can see, 70 degrees, but we've had showers throughout the morning. They're on and off. Right now, they're on. There's the Mountaineers coming in. They have won 12 straight in this series. Rutgers won the toss, and they want the football first. So Pat McAfee will kick off, and here we go. It'll be Townsend at the one. James Townsend, excellent speed, a wide receiver to the middle of the field and goes down at about the 22-yard line. And that's where the Rutgers offense will go to work, and we're going to check the best buy starting offensive lineup. The Here's offense Scott is Walker. led by Heisman candidate Ray Rice. He averages over 140 yards a game rushing and carries over a 3.0 in the classroom. Jeremy Zuta is a four-year starter and will graduate in three and a half years with a degree in economics. Works from the 22-yard line. Rice, a tailback in the eye. And he'll get the call on first down, as he almost always does, but only a yard. Up front, we got crazy Johnny Dingle. And then the linebackers, we got Mark Magro. And leading the way in the secondary, who's wearing the real gold blue now, Ryan Mundy. West Virginia shows blitz. Teal's first throw. Oh, deep out and drops. Season a year ago. Here comes the blitz on third and long. Teal delivers on the backfield. And a first down is Tim Brown. Whoops. And Brown's 19th catch of the season. He had a 72-yard touchdown catch in this matchup a year ago. Now it's Rice. And Ray on the left side goes out to about the 40. -yard. And it's Rice. Hit in the backfield, bounces it outside, and is going to get a first down. They actually didn't mark that a first down. It's third down and just inches. And with that in mind, they get a yard and a lot more into Mountaineer territory. And Rice cuts it up among the sellout crowd that pretty much has packed the place now. They were all tailgating earlier. Rice. Stopped as he hit the 45-yard line before the game as well. Catches it clean on third down and fires deep out, a little bit high, incomplete. Ito. And they're going to do the rugby punt, dribbles it down the field. Rivers is going to field it and keeps his balance. Nice return, a gutsy move by Vaughn Rivers. Patrick White in the spread. Gives it off to Slayton, who cuts it up to about the 37-yard line. Fan in his post on the left side of the Fab Five is offensive lineman Ryan Stanchek. At receiver, we have Darius Renard with Super Boings. Those are high jumps, for those of you who don't know. And in the backfield, we have Steve Slayton and Owen Smith. And he's looking to those guys on the left side, and instead will run it. This is what he does so well. All the way out close to a first down. Here they come. Here comes Slayton, and down he goes. He didn't get it. Man for Rutgers. Both teams kind of use that trot to the right and rugby-type kick. This one a line drive fielded down there by Campbell right up. We'll worry about it next year. First down, Rutgers at the 20. Rice trying to pop through the left side, and he'll come in motion. It's going to be Rice, though. And Rice really popped this. Johnny Dingle. And Teal throws and got it complete. This time they show four wide receivers. But they'll keep it on the ground. Rice in the middle. And a helmet came out, but the ball didn't. And See, it's a, it's a wet that's ball. It's a wet ball. It's a wet ball. You can always tell. <laughs> I've been waiting for two years for that. 
<laughs> Teal high throw that time. Incomplete. Now the wind's picking up on top of the rain. Coming right to left as we view the field. Teal. And he snuck one in there, but it's dropped again. Again, the little move to the right. And the pooch punch. River's going to get out of the way of this one. And it takes a West Virginia bounce. It's going to be at about the 37. This team may actually huddle up a bit today, Brad. That'd be a first. Here's White to throw on first down. Little slip screen out to Jala. And Jala. The defense is anchored by All-American Eric Foster. Eric graduates in January with a degree in criminal justice. Brandon Rinkart leads our linebacking corps. He's got a 3.7 in civil engineering. The secondary, they're all smart, they're all fast, and they love to hit. <laughs> and love to hit. They're going to have to hit right here as Slayton. They didn't hit him good enough. White, long count. Gives it off to Slayton, and Slayton, another nice game. Of course, Louisville considered one of the favorites coming in, as Matt said, in the Big East race. Now these two teams battling and looking up at the Huskies of UConn. Graphic 0-6 versus West Virginia. 12 straight losses. Nice catch. Darius Renat. White taking his time in the spread on first down. At the Knights 38 yard line. They give to Slayton. The cutback and look out now. Slayton in the open field. Inside the 30. Got a convoy ahead of him. Slayton down the sideline. Touchdown. What a run. That's exactly what Paul just said. 30 seconds ago, as soon as these guys get their hands on it, you start holding your breath. But you see the moves he makes, Bob. I mean, his feet are just unbelievable. Straight up the middle. 7-0. The Mountaineers out in front. A happy Steve Slayton. Look at the smile on his face. And they're here. It's uh, 44,000 probably, but they're all covered up in parkas and, uh, and ponchos. Kick is deep. Townsend won't bring it out. The pits last week. <laughs> My guy, your guy's what's the problem yeah, with him. It's my all guy, smiles on Greasy's team. My guy team. just wins. Here's Ray Rice. He wins a lot too, and he wins against the defense. Ray slanted the other way. Already 41 yards on 10 carries. Into the rain and the wind. The Rutgers offense with Rice covering up with both hands. Uh, second down and eight. And again, Rice. Right up the middle, and Slayton, his counterpart with a 38-yard touchdown. That's our only score so far. On third and short, Rice has got the first down. Bounces out almost to the 45. -yard. And it's first down. Rutgers now at the 45. Rice. And this time he maybe didn't like the middle. Second down and nine. West Virginia with only one loss. Here's our first flag. Fast <laughs> start on the offense. Number 88. Five-yard penalty remains. Second. Rain most of yesterday, all night. And still coming down here this morning. Rice bounces it outside again. Rice, as a flag goes down, might be a holding call. But you know, all you really got to do is... Mason Robinson in the backfield with Mike Teal for the first time today. And they're going to give it to him. He's a speedster. Tripped up, though, as... On third down and a mile. Here comes a blitz off the corner. The run goes right up the middle. And Rice got some of that yardage. Rutgers at home. Trailing now. After 15 minutes to the seventh ranked team in the country. Steve Slayton did the honors. Seven nothing. It's the Mountaineers in front at the end of one. Uses that spread punt formation. High snap. He handles it well. Gets the kick away. Line drive. Fielded by Rivers on the run. Rivers near side. And he's all the way up to about the 40-yard line. First down, West Virginia after the nice punt return at the 39-yard line. Rutgers shows blitz, and they bring it. Patrick White, little dump pass to Schmidt, the fullback, and he is rumbling for a first down and takes a couple of guys with him. Transferred from Division Three and kind of drove around the country with his parents trying to sell himself to a Division I program. And boy, did he find a home. And has he become some kind of player? Second down and a long five right at the 43. Slayton, and he's going to be close. Got inside the 40 to the 39. Third down and short. Blitz is coming. White's going to try to do it on his own, and he gets it down to the 35-yard line. White 
On the run, spins away from one guy and then goes down in a puddle. As he'll snap it into the spread to Patrick White on second down at seven. White, oh, had it knocked down. Almost picked up. And now a really bad snap. Through his hands, let's see if he can get on top of it. And he does, way back at the 45-yard line. Back deep. They're coming after the punter. He got it away, though. And that might have hit a Rutgers player, I believe. West Virginia says they have it at the 30. And I think they do. Boy, this is what happens with this kind of punt. White is going to keep this all the way. The cutback run inside the 20. He might take it. Run out of bounds, but not before he got down. He is the best. More and more prevalent in college football. Here he comes again, and this is run all the way, too. And he really went down in the pile at the 10-yard line. We haven't seen Noel Devine yet today, but we will. At the 10-yard line, it's Schmidt the field line. Trying to get a tough yard in the middle. With Slayton and Schmidt flanking him, and it's Patrick White. The run all the way, and he's got the first down, but not the touchdown. The single setback behind Patrick White. Fakes it to Schmidt, keeps it himself, dropped the ball in the end zone. Hold on. He got, they called a touchdown. Yeah, all the white shirts called a touchdown. I haven't seen a striped shirt well, yet. The line judge did call touchdown. But let's wait and see. Is our replay official today, and we know Nick's going to be looking at this as you see White come right towards you. As soon as the ball hits it, no, the ball's see, out. The ball is out. But they get it back. The ball is out before he ever hit the goal line. So. He stands as on the field. It's a touchdown. We're gone for good. We should have locked the door. Yes, we should have. McAfee uh. with the extra point is good. So the Mountaineers on the road doing business in Piscataway by two touchdowns. Did recover the fumble. I'll get to it in a second. Here's a line drive kick. Mason Robinson picks it up at about the 14. Ooh, he cartwheels his way out to the 34. <laughs> yeah. At the 33, Teal, play action, might want a big one here. Throws, and this is going to be intercepted. Nope, dropped. Mike Teal's only two out of seven throwing the football on a rainy day at Rutgers. Here's Rice straight up the middle and out near the 38. And it's Teal all by his lonesome in the shotgun. Mike goes over the middle, completes, and it's a first down. And <laughs> <laughs> On the run, it's the backup quarterback, Jabu Loveless. And he's a good runner and got to the 49-yard line. I'm not taking your call, Nancy. <laughs> Second down and four. Here's Loveless on the run again. First down. Loveless did a nice job when he was in there running the football. Now it's Rice, right side. Ray's got some room and got close to 10. Nice about, about a yard shy of the first down. Second and one, and now it's Loveless again. And another first down. He's inside the 25. <laughs> no, I understand that, but they weren't in for for as long as Rutgers and all these other guys. Well, no, and you can go and say... New, there are new guys. There's only one goes. yard line. Rice stops and tries to cut back and didn't get anything that time. It's Mike Teal in the gun on a big third down, third and seven. Teal deep. Touchdown, Rutgers! Great throw. No, the ball's out. Taquan Underwood. Jeremy Ito's going to try to get something going here on a 39-yard field goal attempt. He's got 69 career field goals. He's a good one, and he's got another one. Number 70 on his career. At least gets Rutgers on the board with 439 to go in the first half. He won't tell, tell us. us. He won't tell us. He won't tell us. I will swear to secrecy. <laughs> Ito. <laughs> Kick field it at the four. Slayton bring it out. Flags go down. Early return. Holden. West Virginia. Number 88. West Virginia. The fewest penalties per game in the Big East. Rutgers fans come to life as the Mountaineers are back at their own 15-yard line. But White is bringing them out and bringing them in a hurry. Patrick White across the 35 and out to the 37-yard line. Now it's Slayton. He cuts back to the middle and took a hit big time. Love you, Morgantown. Come he, on up. He has been ideal for three years. Second and six. This time right in the middle of the pack. He's only going to get about the young guys that play those same positions, learn how we do things. 
Right now, third and five, they're doing it pretty well, and this time it's through the air. First down throw. Pretty tough place to play football. Face mask. Incidental face mask. So. Maybe changing the play, maybe not. Yep, I thought West Virginia flinched on the right side a little. Try to snap. Best start. And the offense. In the 56. And it was Selvish Capers late in the second quarter. Comes a Rutgers blitz. Patrick White play fake and comes up firing. Complete again to Jolly. And second down at two. Slayton wants to cut back. Does. There's a lot of black jerseys. Today is the first time he's ever completed a pass against Rutgers, even though he's a three-year starter. Was injured one year and 0 for 1 the other. Here he comes with the legs again. And he's got a first down all the way down to the 22-yard line. Third time he's rushed for a first down on third down today. Now on first, comes up throwing, and this one is not a good pass. And remember, their only loss was the University of South Florida, and they had six turnovers in that game. And White. Here's White on the throw, and he almost turned that one over. Last time we heard by two touchdowns. White high snap, quarterback draw, take it away. Nice job defensively. McAfee from 42 yards on the way, and it is right down River Street. Perfect. And the Mountaineers add three to the total, and they'll head to the locker room as we get set for John Craig and Doug in our New York studios with our halftime report. Come on. to kick off with Vaughn Rivers and Slayton back deep. This one will go to Rivers at about the 11. The biggest part is Jock Sanders. And out across the 20 to on first down at the 28-yard line to start the third quarter. White wanted to throw this one, and he's going to go down. Boy, that's the perfect remedy. Not in a lot of yardage, but yep. when he throws, he's very efficient. He's going to throw here, and that one in the dirt. Looks like they're going to come after Patrick White again. Nope, they back out of it. White. Throw is complete across the 30, and after the 35, it's not going to be a first down, though, to Jala. Time. McAfee, boy, he got all of this one. Great kick. Campbell at the 15. Got about six on the return. Here he's from here. He just built a new house that he moved into three days ago. Yep. It's very close to the stadium. Here's his quarterback with a bad thumb, laying one out, and it's intercepted. No drops. Eric Wicks had it. And, and if there's anybody there, you throw it over that area also. Now the draw play to Rice. And Ray gets out to about the 27, 28-yard line. <laughs> Here's Teal under some pressure. Throws short. On a crossing around. Underwood's got a first down out to the 38. All three of his catches have been on third down. And now first down from the 39. It's Rice. Ray keeps on going. <laughs> kind of forgot what he told us, but I knew, generally speaking, that's what he was talking about. <laughs> Here is number 27, bouncing it to the outside, and going to have a first down or very close big-time game rings as the quarterback's going to sneak it for the first down. And keep him healthy. Rice outside, got the corner and more. Down to the 35-yard line. Lateral movement. Allow him to, to jump to the outside. Here's Loveless now, the backup quarterback out of the shotgun. To got over there to the sideline. Ninth play of the Rutgers drive upcoming. And it's Ray Rice. And he takes everybody head on. He I don't take the favor. He earned it. Okay. Third down and short. Ray Rice earning the first down. He's got it. Sixth largest crowd in Rutgers Stadium history, even with the rain. Ray Rice cut back. Inside the 15, close to another first down. But they've been doing so well, they might just keep going to Ray Rice. And they do. And he does. Inside the 10, but flags down. I think we're going to have a holding. Holding. Number 77. 10-yard penalty. You watch. Hate those offensive penalties. They have second and yep. one. Now you got second and 11. And it's Teal to throw. Dropped another one at the goal line. I'm not trying to get on this kid, but he's got to hold on to some of these. Well, leave your feet, catch it around your body, and then just take the punishment. Teal and a shotgun throws this one way out too far in front of Brown. And they pulled off a fake field goal for a touchdown in their win a week ago Thursday. Here they'll try to add the three, and they didn't get it. 
Oh, boy. A great drive and nothing, nothing to show for it. Still 17-3. So the Mountaineers take over at their own 35-yard line. Patrick White tipped at the line of scrimmage. Slayton trying to cut back, and the defense is there to meet him. Third down and 13. Big play again for the Scarlet Knights defense. Here comes a blitz. Pretty well timed. High snap. Slips green to Slayton. Got by one. 25. Slayton down the sideline. He might be gone. One man to beat, and he'll run right into him. But he's all the way down to the 27-yard line. And that looked like a play that was never going to happen. Noel Devine in for the first time. After a 51-yard play by Slayton. They fake it to him, and White's going to take it. He's tripped up. Nice defensive play. Again, Rutgers starts to show blitz, and now White comes up throwing. Completes it out to Jock Sanders. Another freshman with taking his time. Here they come off the corner. And he will take the quarterback draw straight up the middle. Patrick White to the five-yard line. To the two-touchdown lead, looking for more. First and goal at the Scarlet Knights five-yard line. White play fake to Slayton. Throws high, incomplete. He's to Patrick White's right. Slayton to his left, second and goal at the five. Slayton behind Schmidt. Now the cutback, got a block from White. He's down inside the one. As Slayton the tail, third and goal. Mountaineers, Slayton behind Schmidt. Easy score, touchdown, West Virginia. The second of the day. What a turnaround in the last two possessions. That's a 14-point swing, the way things were going. Looked like Rutgers was going in for a touchdown. Here comes Slayton on that pass from White all the way down. They get it down to the one, and he does the rest. I mean, it's just a ball. McAvee's extra point is up and good. West Virginia taking command of this Big East matchup in New Jersey. Rutgers on the short end. White's got one, and now Slayton's got two. It's 24 to three, Mountaineers. Just forgot the touchdown, huh? Yeah, that's what Dom said. <laughs> Here's the kick to the goal line to James Townsend. And he gets hammered before he got to the 20-yard line. And a play you. For multiple flags, all sides. And West Virginia, number 29, third of the turn, holding number 48 on Rutgers. Penalty's offset, big kick. Well, to climb up the poles, the BCS poles. Townsend again, this time from the three. And a little better return, got out to about the 23. This is what Ray might put up numbers-wise. Your team's got to keep winning, too. Tough run again out to the 30. I said to him yesterday as he was leaving our meeting room, I said, Ray, how about like about 212 tomorrow? Here he is on the receiving end and throwing a stiff arm. He is playing as hard as he was. Of, of this offense. But sometimes you got to get it to those big play guys. And that one tipped at the line of scrimmage incomplete. Teal fires. Oh, my goodness. Another drop pass. 11 incompletions for Mike Teal, but five of those are drop balls. Now he's running for his life and throws on the run, and this one is held on to by Underwood at about the 39. Whole front wall. He'll just kick this one as far as he can, and it's going to go out of bounds. They'll mark it somewhere around the 25. Renaud went in motion, and Slayton went forward. Second down and eight. Patrick White in the spread with four receivers and Schmidt with him. Schmidt leads the way and White's out to about the 33 in the fourth quarter. White throws to Schmidt. And he hurdles a man at the 40. The big fella at 260 showing his boing boing. And that agility right there will be on his... Uh, his profile tape is going around the NFL teams next spring. That might be Owen's Sports Center highlight for the day. Yeah. And now Slayton bounces it outside. Flags fly in. We're probably going to have. And it is holding against West Virginia. It is to Patrick White's 
right, and that's where they're going to run, and now he cuts it up the middle and got to the 45-yard line. And the third quarter comes to a close. It's all Mountaineers right now. Can the Scarlet Knights find a way to battle back in the fourth quarter? Hang around. We'll find out together. Absolutely. Second down and long. White in trouble, buying himself some time. Still looking downfield, and now he'll just take it and be bumped out of bounds. Rutgers defense could use a big play here. Pat White's a big play waiting to happen. 45, almost got to the first down marker. The rest were quarterbacks. McAfee fakes the run, and now with the punt. And this one all the way down and perfectly stopped at the one-yard line by Larry Williams as the tailback. And... Dykes. So they do get a little bit more room to work with than Ray Rice now trying to pop it outside. Got out to the 10. Did a lot more running in the offseason. Came in heavier and then worked his way into shape down to about 205, which is where he is now. All of it once. So wow. it could be a good one. I hope we have a good one tonight. We'll be watching. <laughs> Rice tripped up. Oh, you would think it's here. Out of the shotgun. Mike Teal loads it and fires. Ooh. Oh, what a hit. Over at the 18. Here comes a blitz. Teal completes it over the middle. It's a first down. Tim Brown holds on. 12-15 remaining in the fourth quarter. Down by 21. Teal again. Wide open guy this time. Underwood's got a first down. These coaches, the way they've taken these programs and ran with them. The Big East was kind of the surprise last year. So many good teams. These two clubs. They're very impressive, and it's not, not a wonder that uh, these teams are doing really well. Here comes a blitz on Teal. Stands in and delivers Underwood across the middle. And he's got a big play and down to the 41. Well, you know, we, we battled it in recruiting, which is your biggest concern. But now I think all the Big East coaches will tell you, now people are singing our praises. And, of course, as soon as uh, December hits, and they'll have 55,000 in here by 2009. There's that sidearm throw. And under 11 and a half minutes remaining in the ball game. On third down, Teal. Throws and in and out of the hands of the intended receiver and almost intercept. Here they go on fourth down, knowing that time is running out. They might not get many more chances. Teal fires. It's intercepted. Picked off by Allen. Mississippi State about to get their fifth victory of the year. Anthony Dixon from a yard out. They'd also be two and one in conference play. Is winning. Thank you. Here comes the end around. Renaud got the corner. And Darius goes out in front. That's putting a lot of faith in LSU. Are they that good? I mean, I know they're darn good. So is this guy. One anyway. And this time Slayton follows him, and he isn't going to get much. In fact, just shy of midfield. Here's a high snap. White handles it, though. And now he's just got to get down. It's tonight, probably. We'll call you. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> White, quarterback draw, taken off across midfield on his way. And then some. Cuts back outside, inside the 30. Patrick White weaving his way down the field. What a run by number five. He got 50 yards, and now it's first and goal, West Virginia. And that's his buddy Slayton easily to the end zone. That's Touchdown, down, Mountaineers. And that's ball game with 8-12 to go. Very impressive West Virginia, not only offensively, but defensively. They've had it all going here today. It's 31-3. to three. That's the, uh, the offensive coordinator, Calvin McGee, yep. helping call the shots for head coach Rich Rodriguez. Hey, everything they plug in, as long as it's five and dime, it's money. Rutgers fan today. All the treats going West Virginia's way. Picked up at the 11 by Townsend on the kick return. And Townsend out to about the 34-yard line in the, in the Big East. Rutgers, unless a miracle happens, as Teal throws and finally got one to Kenny Britt. We, that'll be coming up in uh, sometime in the next seven minutes or so. Mike Teal. Wants to go deep. He's got a man out there. Should have been a holding call, I thought. And there flies the flag, finally. Pass interference. On the defense. Number 20. 
15 yards from the previous line of scrimmage. Red comes in motion to the bottom of your screen on first down at the 26. Steal across the middle. Completes. And it... Brit again, and you add that together, and you get 15 cents, and you get 31 points. <laughs> Kenny Britt, and that's that kind of day. Third down, Teal fires. It's intercepted in the end zone. Coming out is Ryan Mundy. Mundy on the run, and he's got some blockers in front of him. He's all the way back out past Rutgers original line of scrimmage and had a year of eligibility left and was able to go to Morgantown and continue to play a uh, little used and uh, Jared Brown is in at quarterback finally we were wondering why Patrick White would still be out there and here comes the little guy Noel Devine mm. Devine boy he's as quick as the other guys that's oh, right well, take, take that one okay Here's Devine, and he's out. High snap. McAfee's been a busy guy today. He's both a punter and a field goal kicker and a place kicker, and that one Dennis Campbell dives for. If you look at West Virginia's defense, they knew that, that Ray Rice is going to get his 100 or whatever it is in 135, 140. Doesn't, don't let anybody else beat you, but there were some receivers that dropped a whole lot of balls. Down second and one inside the 20-yard line. And they had an offensive uh, holding penalty. Now it's second 11. They don't get anything out of that. 47 family members at the game today, including uh, Uncle Kevin, right? That's the, the barbecue guy. Four consecutive New Year's Bowls, back to back top 10 finishes. He's done a great job. Ball out, and West Virginia's got it. Scooter Berry with the recovery. West Virginia just wants to eat this last 243. Noel Devine spins his way for a couple. Clock ticks under two minutes. Devine again. Wants to get a first down and stay in bounds. He does both, but there's a flag. Also, it's holding. And it's on West Virginia as we go to Matt Weiner, New York. Matt. And, and, uh, now what a difference the, a couple minutes can make, that's right? That's true. That's for sure. Here's Devine in the open field. Down to the 30. Up. Uh, that haven't seen time earlier in the ball game anyway. Again, Devine gets the carry. Oh, and he got whacked at the 30-yard line. In recognition of their efforts, Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Well, Rutgers' dream with the all-black uniforms to pick off another top-10 team comes up short as Coach Chiano and Coach Rodriguez shake hands at midfield and a resounding win for the Mountaineers. In the final score, Mountaineers 31, Rutgers 3. For Bob Greasy, Paul McGuire, and Bonnie Bernstein, Brad Nessler saying so long from Piscataway. Stay tuned for the Dell Postgame Report.